Hi, I'm Marianne, otherwise known as weight.watcher.wifey on Instagram. Welcome to my kitchen. This afternoon I'm doing a little baking and what I'm making are cinnamon rolls. Now we all know about the two ingredient dough. I've been making pizzas with it, calzones, dinner rolls, and breakfast rolls. And today I wanted to show you how to do the cinnamon rolls I make. So of course two ingredient dough, you start with two ingredients. And the ingredients are self-rising flour, and also non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Uh, this is my yogurt of choice. I love the taste. Um, I eat this plain with fruit. It's delicious. So we're gonna start out with equal portions of those two ingredients. And what I'm doing is I'm using a cup of each because I'm going to make a large rectangle shaped dough um, to go ahead and put my cinnamon sugar on and uh, get that rolled up to cut into my cinnamon rolls. I should say when I make something sweet with this dough, I do add a teaspoon of some sugar substitute and I use Truvia. So I'm gonna add that to this dough and um, I'll go ahead and get that started right now. So I'm gonna measure out a cup of flour and I'm gonna put that right into my bowl. And now the yogurt goes into the bowl and again it's going to be the same measurement which will be one cup if i can open it there we go i love this brand of yogurt if you um, just want to eat plain yogurt i think it has the best taste out of all of them and i've tried them all so here's a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, and that's gonna go into my bowl as well. Now, I start mixing this with the spatula very gingerly. I just start folding it in gently until a dough forms, and then I'll turn it out onto my surface. And I have this great sill pad that my husband bought me off of Amazon. It really saves my counters and easy cleanup and I love it. Okay, the dough is coming together. You know what, I need to take off my rings because I need to use my hands. So those come off, and now I can get my hands in here. I'm gonna go ahead and then turn it out onto my mat. And of course, it's not together yet, so I'm going to have to knead it with my hands so it becomes a nice, smooth ball of dough. Make sure you get all the flour incorporated into the yogurt. Clean your hands. Now this dough is sticky, so pretty soon I'm going to be, I see it's sticking right now, so I'm gonna be opening up my flour and go ahead and put some on my silk pad. I'm gonna wash my hands first. My hands are washed, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of flour and put it onto my silk pad, and now put some flour on my hands and now I should be good to go to knead the dough to make it a nice, smooth dough. And you can see it's coming together nicely. The more you knead it, I find that the smoother it gets. Put a little more flour on here. I'm gonna knead it anyway when I roll it out with the rolling pin. Okay, so I think this is nice. It's a nice, smooth ball of dough. So I'm gonna make sure I have my flour on here because the next thing I'm going to do is roll this out. I'm gonna start flattening it a bit. 
clear my space and I just start rolling and turning it. And I'm going to go for a rectangle shape. So as I turn it, I'm going to favor one side to get it longer and push that side out more. So it starts getting into a rectangle. This dough is pretty forgiving because you can fix it if you rip it. It doesn't have to be perfect. As a matter of fact, when I make pizza, I don't like a perfect crust. Okay, so my dough is in a pretty good rectangle shape. So the sucre and brown sugar you can find on Amazon or order it directly from the um, sucrin website. So I'm going to get a quarter cup of sucrin, which will be zero points into a little bowl. And then I'm also going to add some cinnamon. And then I'm just going to mix that up. Again, this dough is one cup of self-rising flour, one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, a teaspoon of Truvia, and then the filling will be cinnamon and brown sugar. Okay. So that's mixed nicely, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to spread it, oops, I've got something hard in there. I'm gonna spread it onto the dough. So I like a lot of cinnamon sugar, so I use a quarter cup. A quarter cup of sucrin is actually going to be six servings because Truvia, not Truvia, excuse me, sucrin is measured by two teaspoons on the Weight Watcher app. So you need 12 teaspoons or a quarter cup or four tablespoons. It all equals out to a quarter cup. Okay, that's pretty good. So now, hopefully, this is going to start rolling easily. Now, if it rips, no worries, it's still gonna taste good, but you start rolling on the long end and try to get it tight. Roll, 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 there we go. Now, some of the cinnamon sugar will seep out, that's okay. I have a serrated knife and I don't wanna cut through my silk pad so I'll be very careful, but I'm gonna cut the ends off because the ends usually don't have a lot of the cinnamon sugar filling. Okay, then I look at it and um, I'm gonna measure it. It is almost 16 inches. So I'm gonna go right in half because I want to get 12 cinnamon rolls. So that means this is in half, I wanna get six out of here. So one, two, three, yep. Four, five, six, okay. And then just cut and you'll see the cinnamon sugar filling, and then I use a silk pad and I'm just going to place them on my cookie sheet. I went ahead and marked these off to make them equal in size. I forgot to turn my oven on, so I've got to do that. Um, 375, 
So I'm gonna go and do that. And let my oven heat up while I finish cutting the cinnamon rolls. Here are my cinnamon rolls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to flatten these out a bit to get them into a cinnamon roll shape like we're used to in a store or a bakery. And I'll have more surface then for the egg wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and get an egg and add a little water and brush the tops of these. Okay, so I have an egg and I'm going to crack it in my bowl and whisk it. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it to thin it out. and then get a pastry brush to brush it on. So then all you wanna do is just brush the tops of the cinnamon rolls. So to recap the Yogurt is zero, the Truvia is zero, the gold medal flour is going to be five points per half cup. So we used a cup, and then I used sucrine, brown, sugar substitute, that's zero, cinnamon, and an egg wash, that's all zero. So, so far the only points are from the self-rising flour. Okay, that looks pretty good. These are ready for the oven. So I'll bake these for 20 minutes in a 375 degree oven. And it's ready. Take a peek at the cinnamon rolls. They're rising, they look delicious. They need to bake a little longer, but I just wanted to make sure that they were rising. While the cinnamon rolls finish baking, I'm gonna go ahead and make the glaze to go over the warm rolls. And I use powdered sugar and vanilla, but what I'm going to do today is use a new product I just received, which is Swerve Confectioner's Sugar. It's zero smart points, so I'm gonna use a quarter cup of that with a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a little water to get to the desired consistency that I'd like for a glaze. Okay, here's a quarter cup I'm putting into a little bowl. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oops, and that's pouring onto my counter. I'm making a mess, but sometimes that happens. No fears, just wipe it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some water. Okay, this is ready to go onto the warm cinnamon rolls once they come out of the oven. Okay, the timer went off, so it's time to get the cinnamon rolls. And here they are. They look fantastic. So I think, yep, they're toasty brown on the bottom. And they rose a little, um, they're little cinnamon rolls, they're just bites, but they're perfect for one smart point. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some 
icing onto the rolls. How great do these cinnamon rolls look? Two ingredient dough, 12 cinnamon rolls, one smart point each. They make the perfect addition to your breakfast, nighttime snack when you're looking for something sweet to satisfy that sweet tooth. Look at that wonderful glaze oozing over the warm cinnamon roll. I don't know if I can resist. No, I can't. Oh my gosh. Make these. Mm, they are so good. You can adapt this recipe by adding raisins or even chocolate chips like my grandmother used to do for me. But these are perfect little cinnamon rolls. So I will post the measurements um, to make these so you can do this yourself at home. Let me know if you adapt it in any way. Let me know what you think if you like them. Thanks so much for stopping by my kitchen. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day. Remember to always do something kind for another person. Ciao.